question renegade media i highly doubt that i i'm joking that guarantee you this channel doesn't even know who the hell we are um so yeah who has the worst reputation in youtube history i don't have a pretty bad reputation amongst some of the attack on titan fanboys but oh uh, well and and the death battle fanboys yeah and the and various other fandoms out there that just can't accept the fact that you have a different opinion than them mm-hmm but that's just how how it goes on the internet. My guess for the worst reputation on YouTube is probably still not accurate because there are probably still far worse people. Like, I uh, don't know how, but my guess kind of even dwarves those. Like, just with all the fucking heinous shit the dude's done and, like, just how big of a just waste of oxygen this dude is on the planet. But my guess would be on Onision. Onision, I'm... I, if he's on this list, I would not be surprised. Because um, there are other people that have done, like, one heinous thing that has destroyed their reputation. He's done multiple heinous things. Yes. Like, all kinds of fucked up shit. I, like, just proving he's an absolutely horrible human being. I would also say uh, Kid Behind the Camera, you know, the a former angry grandpa kid, he's basically turned into a complete and total piece of shit. Mm. I mean... And there's evidence of, like, what happened with his grandpa, you know, like, there, you know, what the Angry Grandpa channel, there was abuse going on behind the scenes to Angry Grandpa by this kid. And then, of course, for me, there was also Wings of Redemption. I would say he's got a very bad reputation online because Heard of his bad behavior. things about him. Yeah, he's not... I mean, there are people that, like, do one thing and, like, their reputation is tarnished, but they still continue to thrive despite it. Like... Um, for example, uh, Dark Side Phil. <laughs> oh, DSP. <laughs> yeah. DSP is a, a like another piece of garbage. Yeah. Like, and, but oh, for also, some reason, he's still going. Like, also, not only that, but his most recent take on the whole Amaranth controversy. Fuck you, DSP. Fuck you, dude. Okay. I didn't, I didn't even hear about that. Okay. I, I just no. know that like he gets memed into oblivion, and the original reason was mostly because he freaking like you know had some fun on like his oh, no, live he, stream before he, he started it yeah 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 the and he was like oh well whoopsie didn't know the camera was live oh guess we're live but there are a lot of youtubers out there that could be on this list sunny v2 has compiled this list and i guess we're gonna see what he has to say hey sunny what you got for us these creators have the 10 worst reputations in YouTube history, and coming in at number 10 is YouTube prankster oh, Vitaly God. ZDTV. Yeah, Once one of the platform's most respected Vladdy creators, Vladdy. Vitaly's reputation began to decline after confessing in a rant video that some of his most popular pranks had been faked. Out of 165 videos, I maybe faked five videos. However, despite Vitaly stating that he'd only faked five videos, a different YouTube prankster, FoozyTube, oh, would respond to the video by stating probably, that Vitaly like, had stated more here, than that, resulting in another response from Vitaly, in which he like once can admit that his videos were in fact fake. Everybody knows that we faked pranks back in the day. Yes, I faked some of my videos. Bloody Adding to Vitaly's reputation of decline was both the launch of Vitaly Uncensored as well as the time he got in hot water for climbing one of Egypt's great pyramids. Although the event which yeah. would notoriously ruin his reputation beyond repair was the time I he mean, was arrested. Was that a smart thing to do? No. Was that a thing that I can 100% say that I wouldn't want to do? Also, Find the pyramid. <laughs> well, no, they, I played Assassin's Creed Origins. I can I can see why someone would want to do that. No, they, <laughs> like, they actually have it where you can do that, but you have to have authorization. Yeah, and they probably did it unauthorized. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but the but this I remember reading about this, and yeah, Vitaly basically he fucked himself right here. The, the whole prank video thing, just like it, it's like what. I don't understand why people would freak out about 
them faking videos because it's so obvious there's that a lot of this have to be fake like you're literally risking getting yourself killed there are so many fake, if you do some there, of that shit to people there, in public there are that so you many don't fake know. videos out there yeah. dude and people and people eat them up on social media there was one that me and chad were watching it was this guy he was hiding behind his counter like looking at the camera he was just like and he like leaned out from behind the counter slapped his girl's butt and then went back behind the counter and then she turned around like well where is he? What's going on? And, and there were so many people down below just be like, oh, she's so stupid. I'm like, y'all don't understand if, that this is fake. Like, no human being acts like this. Like, y'all are treating this like it's a cartoon. Like, stop being stupid, people. <laughs> Everything, most of the stuff you see on the internet's fake. Hell, I'm not real right now. In Miami. On the 12th of April 2020, Vitaly attacked a random woman who was simply jogging past the front of Vitaly's house. And when may, the police body cam footage of the arrest was released, it was obvious unrelated. that Vitaly was incredibly intoxicated. After spending the night in jail, Vitaly was sued by the woman for an undisclosed amount. And while Vitaly seems to have made somewhat of a redemption, judging from recent podcast appearances, the same can't be said for the YouTube with the ninth worst reputation, NA Productions. Fuck this the guy, reputation dude. of NA Productions. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Four years ago, and I'm sure Charlie has come up with worst, wor worst YouTubers since then. I don't doubt it, but um, this dude, you remember... Edith there's actually somebody I really hope makes this list, and I have a bad feeling they're not going to. Well, who is it? Somebody from a recent thing, a oh. recent controversy, uh, involving uh, the act man. And oh, him trying to get this person shut down because they're a garbage person. I re I remember, yeah, Quantum. Yeah. Um, but this guy right here, the one that they're talking about in this, you remember Etika? Mm -hmm. Remember when Etika passed away and everything? And there was a huge swelling of stuff on. This guy did a three a.m. like ghost like call to Etika. Oh, right that, after he that like guy. literally the day after he died. Yeah, fuck this guy. Mm. Fuck him. Piece of shit. Began to decline when Penguin Zero would state that NNA was the worst YouTuber on the entire website, with the initial criticism being that NNA simply made awful generic fake 3M challenges that were targeted toward children. This channel's name is NNA Productions, and it's so generic it makes Nickelback look like rock and roll pioneers. He makes the exact same <laughs> video every single time, except the very end where he changes the scare. Penguin Zero would then go on to explain that NNA Productions takes advantage of his young, naive audience by hosting a fake giveaway in the beginning of every video. You're not allowed to host fake giveaways. It's an actual felony to yes, do that. So what is. he's doing is breaking the law because there's no winners for these giveaways. So he's breaking a law and he is also breaking a YouTube rule. But for some reason, he's done this in every single video and he has still not had his channel taken down yet. Which is bundled with the promotion Old of his short social media Charlie. repeated identically oh, yeah. in every single episode. The first three minutes of every single one of his videos is basically just an advertisement for all of his social media and scams. Following Penguin Zero talking about NNA Productions, Diesel Patches, Pancho, and DJ Cook would each up upload their own viral videos, also talking about how terrible he was. Calling Cars 3. Cars 3 is a movie. How can you call a movie? With one of the other criticisms being that he made a 3am video on Etika right after he passed away. He actually went ahead and did an Etika 3am challenge. Rest in peace, Etika, right guys? And one like equals one prayer for Etika. And with such... You talk about punchable faces. That right there is a perfect example. The entire internet, including his own comment bots, joined If you're going to make any NNA video group. about someone who passed away 24 hours ago, it should be nothing but, like, an absolute serious video that is like, dude, I'm just so upset to hear about this. Yes, my condolences, it should be you just talking about My it. condolences to and, their family and all and, that stuff, you know. And, talking, just, and potentially talking about, like, the inspiration that Etika And in my opinion, you also shouldn't monetize videos like that. No, either. no, it... Well, we've done videos in the past where we've talked about serious stuff, and we've never monetized it. Never. There was actually... I remember the when the whole situation with Ben happened, I never monetized any of those videos that had us talking about it, and the numbers yeah. that we pulled on those, dude, were astronomical. Yeah, but like, you're not trying to monetize no, drama. No, I'm not like, trying to monetize my own personal drama, because yeah. I'm not like that. And maybe that's why our viewership has stagnated to a certain degree, and you know what? That's fine. I don't want to lose myself to the stupid, inane dramas of YouTube that just keep popping up. And oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna embroil myself in this drama to make myself important. No, fuck you.
Productions hate train. However, around two years after Penguin Zero uploaded his initial video calling him the worst YouTuber on the platform, Charlie changed his mind by calling him the most <coughs> impressive YouTuber for his consistency in being able to pump out so much terrible content for such a long period of time. It is wrapped around from being the worst YouTuber to the strongest, most persistent YouTuber I've ever seen in my life. Well, you know what else is persistent, Charlie? Cancer. That's exactly what that guy is. And speaking of terrible content for a long period of time, this seems like an appropriate point to talk uh -oh. about number eight, Wings of Redemption. Oh, After becoming is. one of YouTube's most Here's notorious Wings. Call of Duty players back in the early 2010s, Wings of Redemption's reputation began to decline after he'd lose a 1v1 match against <laughs> another large Call of Duty YouTuber named Syndicate. In the lead up to the 1v1- <laughs> Syndicate spanked him, dude. Syndicate spanked him and the whole world watched. One, Wings had been going on about how bad Syndicate was and how there was no way Wings could possibly lose the match. Yet when the showdown eventually happened, Syndicate beat Wings 14 kills to 9 in front of an audience of 7,000 and Wings of Redemption completely lost it. I broke my controller. I broke your controller. <laughs> this match would act as a catalyst for Wings to gain approximately 100 pounds, alienate his only few friends, and eventually cultivate an army of trolls who would do nothing but berate him in every single live stream. The constant harassment by his audience led to a pinnacle when, after being stream sniped for an entire live stream, Wings will once again lose it in front of his audience. I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. As these reactions became increasingly common during his streams, entire YouTube channels became dedicated to posting Wings of Redemption's worst moments, which not only brought more trolls to each stream, but these videos made it next to impossible for Wings to get a job or do anything outside of streaming to an audience who were essentially just watching so they could laugh at him. However, there were still less people laughing at Wings in comparison to the creator with the seventh worst reputation. It, like, Nick did he Cut. do anything else besides, like, all of that? He basically, uh, he's cultivated a very very poor reputation because of his toxic behavior towards everybody online and if basically if you don't if you don't think he's like one of the best gamers ever yeah then you then he wants nothing to do with you and basically like to an extent he doesn't seem quite as bad as i pictured from what i heard about i've heard people talk about him but it, to an extent like that kind of sucks too like i mean it's really just he has issues Yes. And since he didn't deal with his issues, he caused himself a lot of fucking problems. And what else? It's sort of sad that it, th those kind of issues just get turned into a joke for large audiences of people, you know? Like, yeah. Like, That's how the internet is. Man. It's like if you're going to shit talk somebody before playing a match with them, make it fucking fun, you know? Like, just put out like get together with them and like let's do promos where we talk shit about each other like yeah, ufc style before dude, we there play was, like, i wanted to do that at the uh the smash bros tournament where i had the luigi hat mm -hmm. on i wanted to go there dressed as luigi and just be like let me tell you something you got lucky bro i'm going to come back next time and i'm going to mop at the floor <laughs> yeah something like, like that something like that yeah and i would yeah. do that and i would gladly get my ass kicked by these guys because these guys were really freaking good mm -hmm. impossibly good i'm like how how are these guys this good? Yeah, I was watching and it looked like some of those clips from the really big pros you had showed me. Like, yeah. When they were playing, I was just like, damn, man, I've never, like, seen this game controlled like this except for by, like, the really, really pro people that played literally all the time. Yes. Avocado. Avocado. Oh, After gaining a following as one of the platform's first male vegan mukbang YouTubers, Nikocado Avocado's level of discipline began to slip. Rather than eating healthy vegan food for the camera, he began to consume more and more fast food, likely due to its speedy delivery, cheap cost, and overwhelming relatability to the audience. However, eating fast food every single day in order to produce a video came alongside a massive increase in body weight. As time progressed, Nikocado only got larger and larger, to the point where people weren't even watching for the mukbang, but rather to see Nikocado avocado eat himself to death. Accompanying his weight gain was the decline of his relationship and sex life. However, the thing that put the biggest dent in his reputation was that he used all of these negative elements as a way to gain views. Celebrating our 700 pound milestone, McDonald's mukbang, my new diet as a disabled person, how much weight I've gained, fast food mukbang, with each of these videos having negative comment after negative comment about Nikocado monetizing the collapse of his life. However, while Nikocado's food related content has generated a pretty equal mix of both fans and haters, the same can't be said for the person with the sixth worst reputation. Yeah, I just don't vegan. understand him at all. Like, I don't either. Nico has... Nico's just... Something is wrong. It's like with someone him. who's like literally willing to destroy themselves for fame. Like, damn.
I mean, you're willing to go through some shit to get stuff done, but yeah. not, like, fucking destroy yourself. No, no, I, like, I'll do an all-nighter in terms of editing and all that, and also, you know, just getting stuff posted, making sure stuff posts properly, but I'm not going to eat myself to death, because I don't eat, that's the thing, I don't eat that much, I'm just a naturally big guy, I've been, I've always been a big guy, I've, like, ever since, ever since I hit puberty, it's always been like this, and... Could I take... Again, I need to make efforts to better myself, and I want to. It's just... I don't know. I just need to get over this mental block I've got. I'm an unfortunately slothy guy, and I have to exercise if I want to Well, maintain a lower weight, and I just never do. I'm probably... So. Okay, my next investment... I, I've already invested in everything else that we have here. I've invested in our uh, setup here. I've got the shotgun mic. Uh, the next thing I'm getting is the wireless headphones. I've invested in the recording suite over there with for the music and all that. I've invested in uh, all of us having pretty good level gaming PCs so that we'll be able to do stuff for at least the next four or five years, no problem. But number one, I'm going to invest in probably a Nordic track or a Pelotron, which is uh, our Peloton, which is... Uh, one of those uh, resistance exercise bikes, which yeah. is really, really good and has a very good reputation. I mean, Kat Dennings uses it, and she's fine as hell. I mean, <laughs> also, she's dating Andrew WK, in which uh, I guess they party, party, party. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Teacher. In the beginning, the vegan, the vegan teacher. teacher's content oh, was yeah. mild, fun, and entertaining. However, after she'd blow up from a back and forth between her and Gordon Ramsay, her strategy switched to calling out any and every influencer with the goal of receiving a response. If you're not vegan, I'm coming after you. She'd call <sighs> hey, vegan teacher, everything I eat is vegan. I'll just say it, you know, everything I eat is vegan. <laughs> oh yeah, this vegan cheeseburger from uh from mcdonald's yeah you clearly see it's vegan um it's like oh this uh this uh shrimp fried rice it's vegan shrimp fried I mean, rice the cows i eat are vegan yes yeah. like they eat, oh, nothing, yeah, they eat but nothing but they eat grass nothing. like the pigs i eat might not be vegans yeah you know what there was a there but was, i don't give a fuck fuck you <laughs> there was a uh, oh my god there was something... Uh, Literally, I hope there are a lot of... like. So, you know who Maddox is? Like, he used to run the worst website in the universe back in the early internet days. And he would do stuff like make fun of kids' artwork. And, oh. Um, just basically be a dick online for comedy purposes. Yeah. Um, so, he had this thing back in the day called Sponsor or Vegetarian. It's like, for every animal you don't eat, I'll eat two. <laughs> like, you wow. know? <laughs> <laughs> and so, it's like, I hope there are a bunch of people that have sponsored this bitch. <laughs> uh, so, I'll, I'll say this. There was a, there, uh, back in the day, there was actually a, I forget which video it was, but there was a choice. Like, you had, you could choose, like, one to give to yourself and one to give to someone else. And it was, like, super strength and visibility, uh, you know, all this. And there was one that was, uh, be able to communicate and hear plants, thoughts. I would do that. And I'd give it to this bitch so that she could hear <laughs> the leaves, the, like the every time she's screaming, yeah, eating something. Yeah, it's just she's just like screaming and gurgling and shit. Exactly. Yeah. Like you bite into that piece of kale that's still alive, technically. All of a sudden, you just like hear. And <laughs> <laughs> she never eat. She never eat vegetables again. Yeah. Call out Coco Melon for using cheese in one of their music videos. Cheese. Guys, you cannot be promoting cheese to children. Cheese is like a poison, and it comes from a cycle of violence. You forgot to say vegan cheese. Mr. Beast for not using vegan lollies in his chocolate factory video. I wonder if all of those candies are vegan. I hope so. They're not. Because gelatin comes from violence. And Darman for not using vegan hot dogs in his YouTube sketch. No, he didn't say vegan hot dog. That's not good. As a result of these outrageous claims against some of you, YouTube's most beloved creators, the vegan teacher became one of the main punching bags for the commentary community, and subsequently it became a trend for the wider YouTube audience to hate on her. The fact that people are actually supporting this lady and subscribe to this lady is tragic. This she's doing exactly what Logan Paul did, monetizing her haters. That's exactly what she's doing. She's it, not only Logan Paul, but you know who else who you know who else did it? Anita Sarkeesian.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, monetize your haters. That's how you'll never she go out of business. She even failed at that, though. Huh? She even failed at that, though. Anita did? Mm-hmm. Well, eventually, but she gave herself a career that lasted a lot longer than people thought she would. Like, what, 15 years? I mean, she's still trying, but, like, she's literally, like, floundering in, trying. The, in the dust right now, trying to yes. make any kind of it's money because she no can. one's listening to her anymore. Everyone that's listened to when her people has have, lost a shit people ton People have money. forgotten and don't know because Devolver Digital donated a bunch of fucking money to her, like, recently. Like, and I'm just like, dude, Devolver, no. Like, fucking MC Frontalot let her on his fucking album, like, for, like, a sketch track, like, talking about how people are hating women on the internet and shit, you know? And people like, hate everybody on the internet. On. It's not just women. Yeah. Like, it's men and women. Hell, it, <laughs> oh. Like, I hate I, to tell you, everyone gets trolled on the internet, oh, dudes included, but I, the you The amount get, of times I've been called fat, the amount of times I've been called gay. The if you're a dude, like, everything. if you're a woman, they're going to tell you to get in the kitchen, but if you're a dude, they're going to tell you that they fucked your mom last night. It's not just, that, but they have gender-specific insults, but it's not targeted specifically at you just because you're a woman. It's just that they tailor their insults to the low-hanging fruit because they're small kids that have nothing better to do with their fucking lives than yes, they're be little assholes to people who, on the internet. They're little edgelords who just want to make people feel bad because they themselves are miserable. That's all it is. And I'm not saying that women don't go through like hell out there. There are some women that do go through hell. But guess what? There are men out there who go through hell too. And you're not like you shouldn't be you know be playing the victim Olympics, being like I'm more oppressed. No, I'm more oppressed. No, I'm more oppressed. No, I'm more oppressed. I've played you're dividing and you're dividing up. Like, the problem. I've played Instead video games it- uh, with so many women, like, in the groups online, you know? And, like, when, the, like, every once in a while they'll talk about something like that. It's like, yeah, we get unfairly harassed online. It's like, but we do too. Like, listen to the stuff that people say to us when they're not talking to you, you know? And they're like, yeah. oh. Like, and every single time, like, the women in the group are like, yeah, you guys get just as much shit as we do. It's just, like, not the same kind of shit. No, it isn't. And it's, and, and people... Like, claiming that they're the more victimized and everything is the wrong thing to do. You shouldn't be like, oh, I'm more oppressed, therefore everyone should listen to me. You're dividing up the problem when everyone should be approaching it together. That's the problem. Sorry. Anyway. This is another level of insanity. It's so hard to think that this whole channel isn't satire. The fact that she is still on social media till this day for absolutely no reason just to harass people for not being vegan makes me mad. The vegan teacher's poor reputation is best summarized by the brutal dislike ratios on almost every single video posted to her channel, yet in comparison to the creator with the fifth worst reputation, the vegan teacher still looks like a saint. In fact, the next person has a reputation so terrible that it's not even possible to find a single positive comment on any of their videos, no matter how deeply you look. The most toxic YouTuber I've ever stumbled across. I cannot believe that this is a real thing. And it's a YouTuber going by the name of Lisa Gaming Roblox. She first oh. blew up by posting a video of her deleting other Roblox players' houses, but with 4 million views on an incredibly toxic first video came an indescribable level of backlash. This is literally unforgivable considering how much time the people spent making the house, and then there is a person who just destroys it all. However, the impressive performance of the video revealed one thing to Lisa. Toxicity equals attention. The very next video yeah. posted to the channel was therefore another toxic video in which Lisa would make up fake allegations about another large Roblox YouTuber, and subsequently the entire channel devolved into a cesspool of unsavory content. Every single comment on every single video follows a similar structure along the lines of, this is how many people want Lisa to be banned from Bloxburg, people who dislike her vids, everyone who's happy to see Lisa getting hated on. However, instead of trying to repair her reputation, Lisa simply plays into it by creating countless videos reading these hate comments, which only leads to more hate. However, she's still not nearly as hated as the creator with the fourth worst hmm. reputation Dark side so she's basically a gigantic oh. fucking troll. Yes. And now here we are with the SP. Hate yeah, yeah, actually channel up, is dude. literally titled The King of Hate. Darkside Phil began as a professional player on the game Street Fighter back in the mid 2000s, where he became hated by the community for his disrespectful attitude toward other players. You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. This was followed by Phil joining <laughs> YouTube in 2007, on which he'd become one of the first people to upload Let's Play style videos. However, uploading full game playthroughs came with its own set of problems. With so many hours of footage posted, Posted to Phil's channel, a user by the name of Evil AJ 2010 compiled all of Phil's worst moments on the game Metal Gear Solid before uploading them as a video titled "This Is How You Don't Play MGS 2." Yeah, that, that's that's really where DSP 
like start if he would have taken this in stride and said and said yeah it was my first time playing through the game i mean honestly i i mean i didn't do that great and when i play through it now i'm actually much better and much more efficient dude like if if i ever play a game on stream and someone makes a video like this i'm gonna go comment on it and just be like dude like this is awesome thank you for doing this yeah because like, <laughs> like, don't let them know that it bothers you that's what that's the no, number like, one that, thing that do wouldn't, not let them know it bothers you it, it wouldn't bother me i would think that's awesome that someone took the time to put like my shitty ass fucking attempt at a game i wasn't gonna have it together in a <laughs> compilation you know i was like that's fucking hilarious that's yeah. awesome yeah, and and that's what you need to do. You can be like, be like, wow, thanks, man. I'd be like, if anybody wants to offer me tips, you can always come to my streams. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. Yeah, and the but unfortunately, this is not what DSP did. Nope. Phil wasn't too happy with this, so he'd respond to the video, but this only prompted more compilations by other creators, each of which prefixed with the title, this is how you don't play. These videos not only led to the initial decline in Phil's reputation, but then also lead to a collapse in his viewership at a time when Phil was becoming desperate for money so he could pay his bills. In 2020, it would be discovered that Phil was over $500,000 in debt, causing him to file for bankruptcy, Ouch. yet when the bankruptcy documents were leaked, it became apparent that Phil had not been spending the donation money on bills, and instead had maxed out 13 credit cards and spent over $40,000 on a mobile game called WWE Legends, with what? a document showing that Phil had been spending more money on the game than he had been on his mortgage. Just to put a cherry on top of the cake, Phil was also caught beating off on stream whilst not realizing that he was live, and while the camera was only focused on his face, his reaction is still hilarious. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. However, if we're on the topic of being caught in 4K, then this might be the perfect time to talk about the creator with the third worst reputation, EDP. Ooh, ooh, he was once oh, a creator held in high regard for his this, honesty and unfiltered oh. attitude whilst on camera. However, all of this changed on the 18th of April 2021 when he tried to meet up with a minor after chatting with her online. Turns yeah, out the account the fuck, was a decoy yeah. created by two other YouTubers who captured the whole interaction on camera. And after other creators like Penguin Zero publicized the footage to an audience of over 30, 13 million, EDP's public image collapsed overnight. He lose 200,000 subscribers in a week, then seven days later, YouTube would delete his channel altogether. Yeah. His cameo, Facebook, and Instagram were also deleted. So he's number three, right? Yeah. So I might be right. Maybe. He's gonna be on this list. If he's not on this list, I'll be incredibly surprised. He's gonna be two or one. Like, so I might actually be right that he's the worst one. We'll see to other niche video sharing websites such as 3Speak, on which he'd also eventually get banned. EDP attempted to get a job driving for Lyft, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. However, he'd also be fired from all three of these positions, after which he would apply to have his name changed as a desperate attempt to escape from the controversy. He'd then move to a completely different city where he began to live out of various hotels. However, he was continually evicted as a result of people calling each hotel to let them know what EDP had done. And while EDP is essentially now living in exile from both the internet and the real world, he's not the only person on this list in such a position. Maximilian Moose, the YouTuber with the second Ooh. worst reputation, also fits into yep, this category so I think I'm of right. exiled YouTubers. You probably remember him as the guy who made the Oh Yeah Yeah Fortnite song before getting everyone in his audience to clone his profile picture and comment Oh Yeah Yeah on other creators' videos. Well, this wasn't the only thing that Max was getting. See, I saw that do, all right? over the place and yeah. was wondering what was up with that, but I never did figure out what was up with it, so I guess I'm learning now. Yeah, it was him. And here's the thing. If it was I was like, what's that, with all the JD, uh, the the Dentons all over the place? You know, like, I don't get it. Yeah, well, if you if you look into it deep deep enough, like, that is actually a pretty brilliant tactic to get, like, in terms of viral marketing around the internet. Um, but when it goes too far, which... Yeah, I guess you'll see here. I remember hearing about this. Everyone, go to this live stream, type Weast Raid, Weast Gang, and say homophobic stuff and spam and be racist and sexist and mean and also Max Gang. The reason why he had them saying Weast Gang is because that's a YouTuber that he didn't like, so he wanted to make it sound like all the homophobic and racist shit was coming from that guy's community, hoping he'd get banned for it. He did this for other streamers as well. The Maximilian Moose rabbit hole is so deep that it's almost impossible to cover in one or Damn. two minutes, so you'll have to refer to that's these three videos up. by Penguin yeah. Zero, Turkey Tom, and Internet AJ. And while Maximilian Muss's channel was eventually terminated as a result of his actions, his low profile doesn't quite earn him the worst reputation on YouTube. That title goes to Sky Does Minecraft, who was no, once the second most Where's Onision? Yeah, where's Onision, dude? 
Like he Onision is, deserves to be on this list. I'm sorry, but he's definitely worse than Nico. He's definitely yeah. worse than um I'd say he's the same level, if not worse. I would than say he's definitely game. worse than fucking uh, uh, the Call of Duty guy. He's definitely worse than the Roblox girl. The Roblox girl's just being a troll just for the sake of trolling. Like, I actually kind of, like, don't think she's that bad. Like, she's a troll for the sake of being a troll in a video game. Like, but, like, she's 100% just monetizing, like, being a troll. Yeah. Like, that's actually slightly genius on her part like and I'm, I'm, i may sound biased because i just don't give a fuck about roblox but i think roblox ha as it is now is much better than what it was instead of it being just about you know like, it's like why is there a game where you, uh, you give other players the ability to delete the shit that you've made is like the main problem like that's on the game developers not on her well fair but i don't know it's but I mean, like Onision uh, is a absolute piece of shit, and I hope he's at least honorably mentioned at the end of this. I hope so too, because Onision deserves to be on this list, one hundred percent. And I'm actually gonna, if he doesn't mention him later in this, I'm gonna like list down below, be like, "Where Onision, bro?" Yeah. And PewDiePie. His empire and reputation began to decline when he announced that he and his partner Elisa had broken up, leading Sky to have a full blown mental breakdown on Keemstar's show Drama Alert. But this is my son! This is my legacy! This is my family! I don't know what her problem is! I don't know why she hates me so much! I did so much for her! I paid her through beauty school! I just wanted her to succeed in life, even when she was at her lowest! I'm upset at her for continuing to ruin my life when I haven't done anything to her! I just want my son! At around the same point in time, both the popularity of Minecraft, as well as Sky's desire to create content were declining, which not only led to a drop in his channel's viewership, but this also resulted in him becoming quite depressed. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've been going through kind of a rough time recently. I've been not the happiest that I could be. As a result of his deteriorating mental health, Sky began to develop a drug problem, eventually resulting in the collapse of his next relationship, after which the ex-partner would come out with over 6,000 words worth of the most brutal allegations in YouTube history. The document revealed that despite once being the 11th Seventh most subscribed channel on YouTube, Sky hadn't had more than a hundred thousand dollars for years, and would steal money from companies just to buy drugs and never do the work. The document continued by stating, "You're extremely unfaithful. Alicia loved you, and you would cheat, manipulate, and lie when she'd defend herself. You would constantly spread rumors of Post Malone, saying awful things about his character, which is odd because last I checked, he was checking in on you and extremely kind. Was trying to help you out even, which was accompanied by countless other career-ending accusations that ultimately led Sky to disappear from the public." altogether. Then, four months later, the Sky Does Minecraft YouTube channel was listed for sale on a third-party website, requesting a price of $900,000, providing him with the title of the worst reputation in YouTube history. Hmm. Yeah, I still think Oni, Oni Zion definitely, yeah, definitely beats several of these people. I would agree with that 100%. If you guys haven't looked into that, like, Jesus, dude, like, the dude fucking... Okay, so... Him and the girl he was with were basically being fucking pedophiles. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I was fully expecting Onision, Chris Chan. Yep. Yandere Depp. Yeah, Trisha Paytas. Shane and the most members of the beauty community. Yeah, we were... I actually feel like Nikocado's haters care more about his health than his actual fans. Probably accurate. Yeah. Like, I'm genuinely, like, it's kind of terrifying to watch this dude destroy himself. And ne being so close to death like he is right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, like, Jesus Christ, like, seeing him have to have, like, the oxygen and shit is just like, dude. Yeah. I literally know a guy that died from that. Like, that's fucking awful. But yeah, Onision, like, was not only, like, pedophilia and shit, like, he fucking locked every YouTube video he'd ever made behind a paywall. Um, he destroyed protected swampland behind his house purposefully. And then not Protected that, fucking but, land, which is a habitat for creatures that are possibly endangered, like... Oh, and not only that, but he also destroyed... Uh, like his uh, reputation in a lot of ways because let's think about this he basically claimed himself to be oh I'm an advocate for you know equality and change and 
you know, I think women deserve to be this and deserve to be that. He's like, there's no problem with you thinking that. You can have those thoughts. But then it comes out that you're actually an abusive fuck. Exactly. And (laughs) And not only that, but you deliberately drive to another jurisdiction where it is legal for you to have, you know, have intercourse with your partner who is very underage, by the way. That's fucked, dude. That is supremely fucked. Mm -hmm. And I... Oh, boy. You see... And there are people out there who still think that the whole Call Me Carson situation, you know, deserves to be, you know, mentioned in the same breath as Onision. No. 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 Carson? Carson, he basically, like, I don't, I don't know, claim to understand 100% what Carson was wanting to do with himself in that situation, but it sounded to me that a lot of people just apparently did not like Carson's personality and they basically just had they made the decision that they didn't want to be friends with him anymore and they just they just broke up the lunch club and basically pushed Carson out when they went on fucking Keemstar to try to like get clout by like calling him out on shit that wasn't even that bad of an allegation yeah it's, it's and all and people were just like oh well you know he was 19 she was 17 I'm like dude there are people out there right now. If you tell me that are, you've never dated a person that's two years younger than you, you're a fucking liar. Yes. And it, you can say all this stuff that you want. Be like, oh, well, he used his position as an advantage so that this girl, that, so that he could uh, get with this girl. I'm like, you're telling me that, okay, so every rock star, yeah, you should go after every rock star out there because that's exactly what they do when the groupies come along. I hate to say it, but it's true. People hoe themselves out all the time for the like for like any chance they have at getting with someone who's famous. It was like that with dude, Achievement Hunter was like that. There was actually a group on the uh, Rooster Teeth forums that had a wager be like, I bet you I can sleep with every member of the Achievement Hunter o- original six. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I'm like you realize that Michael, Je- during the time Jeff was married, but Ma- you realize that Michael, Jeff, Gavin, and Ryan, and Jack are all in relationships. And I, 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 and they were just like, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to sleep. I just want to get with them because, you know, I just want to be with someone who's, I just want to, I, I just love their content so much. I just want to, like, you, you're telling me you can't hold the other person accountable. You have to hold the person who is in a position of power. And which, if Carson did use his power, was just like, hey, if you do this, you know, uh, you know, I'll probably give you a shout out on my channel and this and that. If he did that, okay. But there's no evidence of that. And you cl- pretending that there's evidence of that, there, like, you're basically pointing at nothing and saying that there's smoke and saying that there's a fire. That's all you're doing. Jesus. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, even PewDiePie actually like ended up with a slightly worse reputation than a couple of these people for a little while there. Well, I remember the it's like when he just straight up dropped the N word on the bridge in PUBG. Like I obviously. remember that, and that was when the that was right after the Wall Street Journal article happened. Right after, and if and if he wouldn't have done that, I guarantee you, it, his situation would not have blown up any worse than it any worse than it had, and people would have gotten over it. But because that happened right there at that specific time, boom, it blew up, and and Felix had no choice but to just be like, "Well, I fucked up." People still hate on him over that too, like, dude. If people can, like, what's his name? If people can forgive Logan Paul for literally having a dead man hanging behind him in one of his vlogs, you can forgive PewDiePie for saying the N word. Especially if he didn't mean it maliciously in any way. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it, everybody. This was Sunny V2, uh, who has the worst reputation in YouTube history. Uh, If you want to see more from Sunny V2, click his name in the title of the video. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Take care, everybody. Peace.